Hi Scorpio, welcome to your... I was going to say May, it's not May. <laughs> welcome to your October 2017 readings. Uh, I disappeared there. Uh, it wasn't intentionally. I am a Sagittarius. Uh, if you're going by Western, if you go by Vedic Astrology, I am a Scorpio. Uh, in Vedic, I have a Scorpio Sun, uh, Cancer Moon, and Leo Rising. Uh, in Western, I'm a Sagittarius Sun with uh, Leo Moon and a Virgo Rising. Uh, either way you look at it, Saturn's in my sign. <laughs> and it just, like, it beat me like a pinata last month. So, uh, I was, I was, it was like, uh, basically like, even, I even tried to, like, uh, I pulled a Virgo move, and Virgos, what they do is they, like, um, they basically put up walls. Like, uh, they go, they go into hermit mode. Uh, even in hermit mode, I couldn't avoid things. The universe was just shooting it at me, like, you gotta deal with it. So, uh, I apologize, you guys. It's just, it got a lot, it got too much for me there. Uh, also, I had a lot of, uh, studying and stuff to do or so the cards just flipped and we're going to do uh monthlies are different than the mid months uh i enjoy doing the monthlies this way i enjoy the mid months too but i need to separate the energies due to uh how i read and i read with energy apologize for the hair it's all messy it's first thing in the morning uh, i've also been having computer issues it's hopefully working i tried making these videos uh, around the mid month there and um it just wasn't working so hopefully this is this is fixed okay so for the mid months i cover homework and relationships relationships come in all forms keep that in mind uh so they come in the form of partnerships which could be co-workers family members siblings uh friends keep that in mind take what applies to you okay you guys um uh, i just actually um Spirituality is quite a confusing, um, it's a confusing personal issue to go through when you're going through it. Uh, and I've been quite, um, what's the word? I've been having premonitions and stuff like that. So I've been trying to harness, I've been trying to get a hold on my, whatever's happening to me. I'm not sure what it is. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie to people. Uh, I know people could be online and be like, yeah, I got, got everything under control. I mean, good for them, but I highly doubt that. <laughs> in life the one consistent thing that happens is change you know like so uh i've been doing a lot of studying and uh i basically turned into like lucy i don't know if you guys ever seen that movie lucy uh she like downloads a bunch of information from the universe or in the matrix you know they download a bunch of information i was reading uh plato and uh, I, I did get um the answers i, I was seeking um in the any of you guys have read Plato, you know how long that takes. <laughs> so uh, I did receive my answers in there that I was looking for. So that was good. Uh, that put my mind to ease. I'm just waiting for the energies to get interrupted. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm really sorry, you guys. I felt bad about leaving Scorpios. I'm going to start. You, you guys are the first ones I'm doing. So, All right, there we go. So we got three cards that fell out. So for your first card, we have is the Knight of Wands. The second card we have is the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. So for some of you Scorpios, I'm seeing like uh, you guys are working really hard on your job. And for some of you, okay, some of you are working towards being an entrepreneur. Okay, and if that's the case for you, what the cards are saying, I haven't pulled out all the cards yet, uh, but I do deal with energies. Uh, what the cards are telling me right now is that you need, um, okay, you have the Knight of Wands here, but what I'm what, what I'm picking up is you need to be slower and more methodical about the way you're doing things, okay? So don't just get all gung-ho and then go for it, all right? Like, you, you got, there's got to be some, um, some time to contemplate your actions, okay? For some of you, it's a new job, okay, and you need to contemplate um, the job. You might need to be, um, for some of you guys, like, if it's a concern for you for the job, then you might want to get things written down in paper um, to state things, you know, and then sign that contract, but re definitely read the contract. If you do need a contract or something, um, 
You're going to need something in paper to protect yourself. For some of you guys, not for all of you, okay? That's not for all of you. If you're partnering up with people, you want to ensure that you're uh, documenting or informing them that it's a trial run. It's not permanent, okay? You don't want to make any permanent decisions, the cards are saying. You need time to contemplate things is what the cards are saying. You're, you're working really hard. Um, and for some of you guys, this is you're working really hard towards yourself, your inner self, on yourself is what I'm getting. Your traditions, your belief systems, okay? We have the magician coming in. We have the fool. We have the death card. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Scorpio card. We have the devil card. Ooh. So we got a Capricorn here. Could be Saturn, you guys, okay? But what I'm what what I'm actually picking up from the card right here and what it's saying to me is Okay, this is talking about Okay, this is talking about Jupiter and Scorpio. And that's happening soon, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's happening. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, when Jupiter hits Scorpio, it's it might be hard for you guys. Okay, and that I'm not saying because like, you know, shit's gonna hit the fan, okay? Part of my language there. I'm saying because it's going to be change and it's going to be um, expansion and it's it might be fast and quick things happening, opportunities. All right, you might need time to think about things, but things it's, it's going to be hard for you because of the movement that's happening and because Scorpios are a fixed sign. Okay, I'm not going to lie, you guys. Depending, I got my uh, Saturn Scorpio. That's in Western astrology. That's where my Saturn sits is in Scorpio and uh, I have a South node Scorpio too. So I'm a little, I'm a little concerned when uh, Jupiter hits uh, Scorpio. I'm going to feel that too. Uh, but it, it is showing that it might be difficult for you. There might be a few problems that pop up and there's some, um, there's something you're going to have to cut. Okay, it's it's going to have to stop, and it kind of seems like you might fight, not gonna lie, the cards are saying that you might fight it, you might try to manipulate something from not happening, like you're gonna try to stop it from happening, and the cards are saying that it's gonna end regardless, okay, so you need to really, like, um, so this might be, like, if you're not, if you don't deal with it, then the universe is gonna deal with it, so that means, like, Okay, I'm just using an example. I'm not saying this is true, you guys. Okay, so that means, like, if, if you're um, dating a person and you don't want to be with them, but then you start dating another person, but you haven't broken up with the first person, and it is your agenda to break up with them, but you're being kind and you don't want to hurt them, you know what I mean? Uh, this is just an example. The computer is running slow. Uh, so, basically what the cards are saying is in that... In a scenario like that, as an example, okay, it's an example, I'm not accusing anybody of doing anything, you know, like, it's, the cards are saying that any trickery or manipulation uh, in that scenario would be found out. Like, the universe is somehow going to make it so it's found out. Like, so perhaps a friend might um, leak something to somebody else about it, on it, like, unintentionally, they don't know about it. There's some sort of thing here that, like, if it's not dealt with, it's going to be taken care of. So whatever's about to end, you need to let it end. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have, uh, my mind just went blank there, the Queen of Swords. All right. Well, Scorpio's work looks good for you, and work is always um, a good area for you guys. I never really feel like I have to get it too much into work, okay? Underneath, we have the two of pentacles. I just looked at it. I didn't mean to, but the infinity symbol's there. So the message I'm getting, you guys, all right? Your work's good. Your work's always good. <laughs> uh, I'm sure not for all Scorpios, but, you know, generally speaking, Scorpios are really good with the, their making money skills. Your problem seems to lie in relationships and at home.
Some of you guys are using avoidance. You're using work to avoid uh, issues. And these issues got to be dealt with, right? For some of you, Scorpios, you have somebody that you, um, you need to finalize divorce papers. There's a separation that needs to happen here. The cards are saying that we have the hero font and the, <coughs> bless me, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> pretty loud, eh? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we have the hero font and, uh, the death card, okay, and the queen of swords. So it is talking about separation or death. It could have been a death in the family, like, I'm not saying recently, a while ago, and there's some, um, the estate and everything needs to be dealt with, is what I'm getting. Uh, for some of you guys, this is talking about, okay, um, I brought this up in other readings a few months ago, and we had all these storms and things like that happen. Uh, there was a few readings I got fire insurance they needed to get, water insurance uh, they needed to get. Uh, not getting a specific insurance for you guys, but I am getting that you do need some sort of insurance at home. So this could this could mean like on your house for like like I gave an example there the fire or water or um, damage. Okay, um, maybe your stuff needs to be insured. Okay, like your TV things like that. Uh, you can get window insurance even. You know, so if your glass window breaks, then it's it's re it's replaced and covered. There's something about insurance here that you guys need. So if there's an area that you don't have insurance and you've kind of like thought about it before, it is saying that you need to get it. Whether that's okay, if you work for yourself, then you need to have insurance on yourself. Okay, that's what the cards would be talking about. Okay, as far as relationships are concerned. Okay. So what the cards are saying, in relationships, there is some sort of codependent behavior happening. Okay, and codependency comes in all forms. It can come in the form of, it doesn't have to be with a relationship uh, partner, okay? Uh, it could be with a parent. It could be with a friend. Um, it could be with a sibling, okay? A child, if you're a parent and you have a child. Um, even if you're the parent, you could be the codependent one. Okay, and uh, I don't have the narcissist card here, you guys. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure who this Queen of Swords. I'm getting Sagittarius. I am getting a Sagittarius. Uh, Like, it's a Sagittarius with Capricorn, okay? So it's quite specific. I don't know who this person is, but they have a, they have a job. I'm getting the message they have a job that's in the, um, okay, the here font is, like, tradition. But what I'm getting from the card is that they have a, a job that's, uh, I'm seeing, um, speaker, okay? So, and what I'm getting is, it's not very good, you guys, uh, Okay, well, the Queen of Swords, okay, and I go through this all the time in my readings, okay, just because it's a sword, a fire character, an earth character does not mean that the person specifically is that person, okay? A lot of, um, okay, water, okay, a Cancer, a Scorpio, they can turn into a swords character, right? Like, when they get upset or if they don't want to talk, okay, or if they're planning, okay, they're methodical. Uh, a lot of fire signs, especially Sagittarius, okay, they come across as, um, the swords character, okay? What I am seeing is trickery. And I'm seeing, I don't have, I have one card in this deck, and this is the only deck I have that actually, I do have, like, a card specifically directed towards narcissism. Just weird. Uh, this person is a narcissist. I'm not sure who it is, but you do have one around you, okay? And I'm getting Capricorn, and I'm getting Sag. So, I don't know. They have those two combos in them. And how are you going to be able to tell, okay, first of all, all right, narcissist is thrown out there quite often. So let's, let's clear a few things up, okay? Uh, generally speaking, in today, today's society, a lot of people have narcissistic qualities, okay? You need five of those 
to actually be classified as a narcissist. Most people have one or two. Some people have three. I probably have two qualities myself. A lot of you guys out there have two or three qualities yourself, you know, okay? This is saying that you have a full-blown narcissist, okay? So this means that this person has five of those qualities, okay? What I'm getting is I'm seeing like a robot in my head. So what that means is, okay, um, how you're going to be able to pinpoint a narcissist is one, their ego. Okay. We all know that. But how do you tell is they protect their ego at all costs. This means that they will create a barrier. Somehow they will create a barrier where um, you will not be able to approach them or give them information where it will offend them. They will have a barrier there. So say like on YouTube, they will lock They'll lock their comments off and they'll lock their likes off. They'll lock their subscriptions off. Why? Because they don't want you affecting their ego, right? Uh, for some people, that is a strategic move for business. It's not a very good one, though. No, I will say that, all right? That's manipulation they're using. Any manipulation that's used will be found out. It's, it's saying here, okay? The ego is protected. These people, if they um, get a comment that comes at them, they will... Um, they will have an outburst. They will publicly try to humiliate that person uh, and they will publicly try to um, make themselves seem superior to the other. Another way to tell a narcissist is the robot. <laughs> I'm saying the robot. You like my robot impression there? When they talk, they have a one tone in their voice. Um, they're not able to fluctuate, okay? Empathy wise, because they don't have empathy. They don't care, right? They're the best in their eyes, right? So their opinion, it comes down to their opinion. They don't take it into account other people's opinions. It's their belief and their belief only. They won't adjust their belief for anybody else. It's 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 their way or no way, okay? Um, as far as the robot's concerned, like I said, their voice. You'll hear it in their voice. There's no alterations in their voice. Uh, it's very robotic, okay? They're master manipulators. So this means that these people can, you'll notice that, you know, one month there was one way um, and then the next month, suddenly they have a personality change. Well, they're like chameleons. They can adapt to other people. Um, whoever this narcissist is, is actually stealing people's work and claiming it as their own. Okay, I get, all right. And I don't know if this is just for one or two specific Scorpios out there, but the cards are warning you, okay? You might need to research an art. I get, like I, I only have a short, limited amount of time, so I can't really give out all the information I know, right? But I can give you the basis, like the basic. I can give you the information that can um, at least, hopefully, um, trigger a red flag and then maybe um, cause you to go and research it to find out yourself. Okay, what you're dealing with is not um, a, convo a, co a covert narcissist. It's not okay. A co covert narcissist is much more subtle. Some of you. Could be dealing with that but what i'm getting is a full-blown narcissist and they're pretty easy to tell because of their ego all right they will attack other people okay over something um minute okay a regular person that has empathy a healthy person well i mean we're not healthy okay? well i don't mean that none of us are healthy i just mean in general humanity all of us have issues all of us okay nobody's perfect people can walk around like a peacock all they want you know we all have we all shit <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, we all do poop, okay? Uh, the narcissist, though... You need to be aware of it because it's going to trap you and it's going to cause illusions, alright? Like, for a Scorpio out there, you're like, I don't know... You look at this person like they're magic... Okay, and they're not. They're trickery. They're creating a trap. Okay, this, this is uh, Virgo. The magician is Virgo. Okay, but if you see in the card, and these are based on uh, mythology. Okay, uh, we're going back to like Thor and Odin, these cards. Um, and if you look at the card, you see his arm is bit off. Okay, Virgos are extremely intelligent. All right, you're not dealing with a Virgo, uh, but narcissists are extremely intelligent. They're at the top of the Companies usually, they're because they're master manipulators, they know how to stay at the top, all right? And they know how to buck people off, okay? And they can take credit for other people's work. They know how to manipulate the situation to their benefit. But you'll be able to tell who a narcissist is by them protecting their ego, by them having sudden outbursts because their ego was bruised. A regular person, okay, we might get offended or mad if somebody 
um, knocks us down. But, you know, at the end of the day, we understand that, that per it's that person's personal issue or we know, understand who we are and it doesn't affect us. There's no need for us to outlash at other people, okay? This is saying that this person outlashes at other people, okay? But it's also saying that this person is stealing other people's work. I don't know who this person is, but you have them around you and they're manipulating the hell out of you. Okay. Or you're going to come into contact with this person either in October. These are energies. Energies um, expand. There's no set time with energies. Okay, um, it's like quantum mechanics. All right, there's multiple uh, realms that you can enter. Okay, and it depends on where you are in your cycle. There's a warning here that you're going to come into contact with this person, and you need to be aware of it because you're going to be all glitz and glamour about this person and they're going to rip you apart okay they're going to use you right for their own personal gain all right hopefully that helped you guys out there okay and for others you guys what's happening in your relationships so this means co-workers or uh, family members, stuff like that. There's manipulation happening here. There is codependency, you guys. So for some of you that live with family, there's a codependency here happening. You might want to study codependency yourself, okay? And code codependency, one person, um, one person is given and the other's receiving, okay? So it's like they're dependent on you for finances. They're dependent on you, um, to buy the groceries, you know what I mean? Like, they can't stand on their own two feet. Uh, so there's some sort of behavior here where you need to separate that. It could be with parent. You could be um, codependent, codependent with your parent. Uh, most Scorpios are quite empathic, okay? And if you're empathic, uh, you're, you're more prone to being um, codependent. And that's not... Um, it's not a bad thing. It's more so like, okay, codependents want to fix. They want to, um, it's basically like they want to love people, right? Like, um, it's the opposite of a narcissist, okay? So Scorpio, you're the opposite of this narcissist, okay? You're very, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of like, um, smiling, bubbly, talking, joking, uh, and I'm hearing movie. Like, you use movie? Mo movie? Quotes? Because I'm seeing quotes. So I'm not sure what that means. So it seems like you're a very happy, bubbly person. And this person is very one-dimensional. Like, because uh, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a flat line. So in their voice, it's it's their voice is going to tell you. It's going to be flat line. It's going to be one steady. Uh, or they're, they'll yell because narcissists tend to yell a lot. They talk over people. All right. Uh, they don't want people interfering with their image. Their image has to be protected at all costs. There's some sort of warning here, Scorpio. You have to be careful of that. that you don't get entangled with this person. Okay. Like, they're setting a trap for you. You see this? And Virgos are good at this. Okay. Virgos, if a Virgo is interested in you, you could have a Virgo that's interested in you. Okay. If you have a Virgo that's interested in you, they will make you come to them. Uh, and you won't even know it. You won't. Virgos are very skilled. Very skilled at that. All right? And they take their time. They plan things out. They're very methodical. Um, they, they don't do it necessarily um, in a bad way because Virgos are quite shy. And they want to ensure uh, that um, the person likes them as much as um, the Virgo likes them. You know? So that's why they get them to come to them. They're very skilled at it. you got to admire... Uh, uh, Scorpio, you can pick up a few pointers from a Virgo, all right? It's, but what we got here is um, there could be a lot of fighting and arguments, and it's just over, honestly, it's over. Um, I feel like at work, if you have fighting and arguments, it's one-upmanship. People are trying to get uh, a superior position over another person or outdo somebody is what I'm getting. Uh, the cards are saying to avoid that, you guys. Okay, at home... I feel like your relationships and home are your issue. Your work, I don't really, we're at 24 minutes. I don't want to keep this too long. Okay, at work, it, we're going to, let's abbreviate this, try to quick. At work, it's saying you need to focus on yourself, work hard on yourself. You see this guy? He's not paying attention to anybody else. He's in a cave. He's focused on what he's doing. Do that. 
stay focused on what you're making, your product. Do not look at anybody else's method of doing anything. Do not try to take anybody else's method of doing anything. You need to um, stay focused on you. Okay, there is a trip here. You could even be offered to move a new location. I picked this up a while ago for you guys too, that you might have, you might be getting an opportunity to move overseas or something. I'm not seeing water. It is over the Ace of Cups. You do have the Knight of Wands. Okay, and if you're moving, there might be some legal things that you have to do. There could be a separation, okay, from an ex that you haven't finalized a divorce from. You need to. And I feel like if that's the case, well, then this is the person that's codependent. Some of you are separated from somebody, but you're still taking care of them. Like, you're, pay they're, you're paying for their... I don't know if you're paying for the rent. If you are, holy shit, you're pretty generous. <laughs> it's just... But what I'm getting is that you're paying for, for their, their living. Like, they don't work. This person doesn't work. But they have your child. I'm seeing a child. Okay? Well, this person is a narcissist then. That person is the narcissist. That's the person you need to separate from. Okay? That's the codependent person. You need to separate it. Hey. <sighs> 